Welcome to the Southern Lake Sanctuary, the backyard of Queenstown, New Zealand. It's home to some of the world's most stunning landscapes and diverse wildlife. But our natural paradise faces a significant threat from invasive predators. So we've had some success in this valley um, controlling stoats and feral cats, but um, we're yet to really start controlling possums due to the risk that current trapping technologies pose to Kia. And so we've got Kia in this area in the mountains and they come down to the bushline as well. If we had AI traps that could identify Kia and other native birds and not pose that risk to the Kia, then we could start using them in these areas and start controlling possums. As you can see as well from the, the landscape, it's rugged terrain, hard to get around, so also automated traps would be a huge benefit because you just can't get around the terrain every single month clearing traps that only go off once. In this valley, you're, re you're really limited to the weather and the seasons. You have to cross multiple rivers to drive up here. Um, so you're always having to keep an eye on the river levels and rainfall, which means quite often traps can't get ch checked and service when we hope to. In the winter, you've got avalanche risk in some areas and you've got snow coming down to really low altitude. So you just can't get around everywhere. But if you had a trap, you could leave out and it could remove multiple predators between each service, then you'd feel more comfortable leaving it for longer and you wouldn't have to go into the valley as often. And that would be very beneficial. About six years ago, um, a group in Arrowtown got busy and put out a whole bunch of wooden traps, about 250 wooden traps, up all the valleys and side valleys, and a lot of hard work and a lot of manual effort just running up and down the hills. And they had some reasonable results, you know, got stoats and rats, but really possums is a big challenge, and a few possum traps, and the numbers were tiny, you know, maybe 20 possums a year. You know, in our first six months, we got something like 500 possums with 20 traps. We followed that up by putting some smart FTP technology on the trap. Gave us visibility, we could remotely see what we were catching, we could see what the battery levels were, we could see what the bait levels were, and it meant we could go out and actually check the trap when it needed checking or maintaining. So the number of traps out of service decreased and the number being effective increased. And now in just over 18 months, we've killed something like 2,000 possums between Bush Creek and Coronet Face. So pretty impressive numbers when you compare with what we could have done before. And you just talk to Arrowtown residents now and the birds, bird life's just coming back. There's you know, more tui, more bellbirds, fantails, just popping in around the houses. Um, it's just fantastic, you know, so the locals are just wrapped with what's happening. It's just the technology we've got now, the type of traps, resetting traps, is a game changer for us already. Yeah, so moving on from here, we're pretty excited where this is all going. You know, we can see what's going to happen with these, this new technology and the ability to actually remotely modify what's happening on the trap, you know, decide what to what lure to pump it at the trap. We can, we can pulse it, we can create like a nightclub effect where we, we turn the trap off, pump feed for a few days, turn it back on by then there'll be a bit of a gathering of possums, you know, we'll get better results. With the care proof, we can start moving up into the high country, up around south of Queenstown, White Creek, up the Reese here, and uh, start getting to that more challenging terrain. There's just so much in the pipeline that's going to be beneficial across the Southern Lake Sanctuary. Today we've had great results with the AT220. Now with the 520 AI arriving on our doorstep, we can't wait to get it out there. You know, it's going to be more effective, more intelligence, and undoubtedly better results, so yeah, bring it on. We developed the AT520 AI Auto Trap in response to demand for a device that could be used for long-term operation in New Zealand's remote landscapes, while still protecting our native species and providing real-time awareness for predator-free projects, like the Southern Lake Sanctuary. The AT520 AI is a revolutionary pest control device designed to tackle the challenges of safe and reliable, long-term, remote operation with precision and efficiency. One of the standout features for the AT520 AI Autotrap is its ability to automatically reset and relure, significantly reducing the need for labour-intensive monthly track visits. 
This means you can maintain effective predator control without constant manual intervention. By integrating these advanced features, the AT520 AI Auto Trap not only simplifies the pest control process, but also ensures a higher success rate in protecting our native species. We are enabling predator-free projects to make significant strides towards our shared goal of a predator-free New Zealand. With its efficient solar-powered design, the AT520 AI ensures continuous operation with minimal manual intervention. This means less time spent on maintenance and more time focused on conservation efforts. The trap also comes equipped with remote alerts for a lure replacement and maintenance needs. This smart feature keeps you informed about the status of each trap, allowing for timely interventions only when necessary. The AT520 AI is built to last, featuring heavy duty stainless steel construction it's designed to withstand the harshest of conditions in rugged landscapes. Whether it's enduring extreme weather events or resisting damage from curious wildlife, the AT520 AI stands up to the test, ensuring continuous, effective pest control. You get a low maintenance, durable and reliable solution for predator control, helping us make significant strides towards a predator-free New Zealand. The Yarn Mesh Network technology revolutionises remote monitoring and management and pest control. With our cutting edge features, we ensure seamless and efficient operation across extensive landscapes. The Yarn Mesh Network guarantees wireless connectivity, even in the most challenging terrain. This technology extends coverage over 10 kilometres between devices, ensuring no area is left unprotected. Our comprehensive monitoring system, IMS, provides real-time updates on trap interactions and species data. This allows for immediate insights and faster decision making. Automated reporting is another key feature of the Yarn Mesh Network. With remote charting capabilities, we offer better landscape management and detailed analysis of pest control efforts. Yarn Mesh enables the seamless transmission of AI classified images and species interaction data from devices in the field, such as the AT520 AI. With the Yarn Mesh Network, we're not just enhancing connectivity, we're transforming the way we manage and monitor pest control operations. Down the bottom of Bush Creek near our town, we, we first put just a single trap in just to, just to try it out compared to a, a standard trap. And just com the comparison and different baits and the results were great. We got about 24 possums in three months. And then we, then we rolled out our first 20 traps in the lower Bush Creek and quite quickly started to see the successful results. One of the traps, in fact, got something like 60 possums in maybe four to six months. And it's pretty high numbers. So that was the, that was the original part of the project and really it was a trial. Since then, we've extended the, the trap network to 75 traps, which covers pretty much the entire bush creek. And if, when we look at the trend line, we can see the, the first deployment the possum numbers starting to drop off a bit. Then we ramp up to catch the possum numbers as we put out the next batch of 55 traps. And, but now we're seeing the possum numbers come right down. It's pretty impressive results really. And the ability to be able to use the system to monitor remotely and see our results, you know, just saves so much monitoring and legwork out in the field. So I'm getting the images. We're just, we're seeing the actual uh, possum and rat interaction of the trap, we're understanding how well the trap works, how better to deploy it. Without the yarn mesh and the AI, we would have, just have to visit all the traps. We'd have to do 75 traps over a week. Instead, we'd just visit a smaller number. So manpower-wise, the benefit's huge. Ah uh, yes, so we get, we get regular alerts every day. We get an alert and tells us what's happening with the trap, if the battery's low, if the lure's low, um, if the actual, the solar panel's low. So there's different parts of the trap. There's the, the AT220 A220 way, 520 bit of the trap, but there's the AI smart node bit as well. So we're getting information every day alerts on what maintenance needs doing or if there's an issue with the trap. So we can plan our maintenance better. So in one day we can go out and service five traps where without the yarn mesh and the AI, we would hatch, just have to visit all the traps we'd have to do. 75 traps over a week. Instead, we just visit a smaller number. So manpower-wise, the benefit's huge. So one of the great advantages of, of having this system here in the office is that we can actually, we can use RF modeling, we can work out where the signals are and where we need to place the trap before we actually carry, you know, 
15 kilos out into the field. Um, the other thing is because we can live see what the catch numbers are on each trap, when we plan for the final deployment of the last few traps, we strategically place them where we see weak points or where we see you know, spots that aren't being trapped and not put them where there potentially aren't many um, possums or rats. So yeah, really you know, much smarter deployment of traps is going to get better results. With the yarn mesh, one of the great benefits in, in planning the deployment is using the RF planning tool, the radio frequency planning tool. And as we, the initial project of Bush Creek, we're going to extend the project up on the right hand side up into Big Hill. So we can, from the office here, we can actually plan how good our network coverage is and where we need to add additional devices like relays or gateways. Yeah, it's just going to save so much time out in the field. Um, getting traps in the wrong place or getting relays in the wrong place. Because of the very complex terrain, RF planning helps us identify spots that are maybe deeper than the valley or the side valleys. And you're not going to know when you're out there, so we can sit here, we can work out strategically where we need to place the extra traps to build up our, uh, our yarn mesh and make sure the mesh is re resilient. You know, if we lose a trap or a relay, we've still got resilience for the, the mesh to keep running. Kia ora, um, I'm Paul. I'm project director for Southern Lake Sanctuary. And rats, stoats, possums, feral cats, they're just decimating our native wildlife and really threatening our unique biodiversity of our region. A really ambitious vision, we're looking for a thriving biodiversity across the whole of the Queensland Lakes District, so about 660,000 hectares. And we're supporting the work of about 100 community groups and there's about 1,000 volunteers who are really doing the hard yards out in the bush trying to protect our native wildlife. I guess a big thing for the next decade or so is the integration of new tech. Um, we are working hard to prevent local extinctions using current technology, but where we need to get is, is remote tools, remote monitoring, um, is using self-resetting devices and using just really expanding our arsenal of, of tools that we have. So over the next decade, we're really looking to ramp up our suppression work. We're also looking to move into the elimination stage and um, for some key biodiversity areas. What we want is hubs um, that are really core focus areas for our biodiversity work where we can have some thriving, thriving areas for wildlife. And we'll be looking at species reintroductions, translocations, um, and then we look to connect those, those hubs. So a really cohesive, integrated approach across the catchments. I guess in, in 10 years time what I hope for my kids when they're, when they're a little bit older is that they can go in and see Kia readily in the Reese Valley and hopefully Takahe and Fio in our rivers and things so that is, it is possible and um, collaborative conservation is really important to that, that we're all working together towards a, a common vision but um, as I said the integration of technology and innovation is really important in that space as well.